Okay, I just watched this, and I'm going to do it. I answered in segments as I listened, and, you know, it's good. I do disagree with you a lot, but we can have this conversation well, I think. Okay, Luke, this is uh, a response to your video. I tried to do a response earlier, and it wouldn't upload. I wasn't trying to even respond, but it wouldn't upload. It was long, and I had to edit it, and then it wouldn't even upload. But whatever. Um, first, you start this off with the truly rational things, like the currency. Hey, I've stopped the video right now. You've gone on to free association. I want to take that separately. So, But I assume, well, whatever. I'm talking up to that point. You call it truly in insane, and you say since it's mutually beneficial, people will evolve ways to do that and yeah we have evolved away that's why we have currency now you know the question is not is is how to improve them or in your case how do you issue the currency it's just a practical question who prints it who gives it out who makes sure there's a certain amount do they have to make sure there's a certain amount no they can do whatever they want um, you have to answer that question. There's two options. Now, in a market anarchy, there's no public organizations, right? So, uh, or am I wrong? So, they're private. So, you, you either have just a single proprietorship or a small partnership of people doing it privately, or you have a collective. The collective might have bylaws, and a lot of stockholders, say a town, might get together and form um, a you know, a central bank to issue cur currency for that town. That would be good. And all the businesses in that town uh, that have signed up will, have, you know, use that currency. And those that didn't sign up can't use that currency. Maybe they use a competing currency. What do you want to do? Because I'm telling you that if you put the currency in private hands, those people will have a tremendous amount of power. Uh, and competing currency is a nightmare. I mean, how is that going to work out? I want, tell me a story of walking down the street with my dollars. What kind of dollars? There's a lot of different systems. You have not said which one. You just said one will form. Well, one has formed. One has formed. We have a giant cooperative. It issues the money, and it's good for thousands of miles in every direction. Try to get this. Compete, it's fine. So if you can't compete, it simply must be because you, you <laughs> it's not possible to do it better, so no one will choose you. Um, there are barriers to entry, a lot of barriers to entry, and uh, not all companies start at the same time. And humans are not actually entirely rational. So only if you define best as whatever the market decides can you say that it decides best. By any criteria that you that would be an engineering criteria like you want the market to be efficient or you want the product to you know be sustainable. The market doesn't choose the best on those kinds of of uh, questions on its own. You know that's just an assumption that you're making. The fact is, um, there's limited space on shelves and stores. So the people that are established uh, get that space. They have already have the space. They were there first. And so on and so forth, including you know the marketing and uh, fear and uncertainty and doubt cast upon products and the effectiveness of advertising. Uh, for you just to say that the best always wins, just, uh, I, I've looked at Okay, on democratic, uh, on democratic private institutions, it's an interesting thing. You don't see that much, huh? People don't really, and I'm not even talking about customers being able to vote. But you said a uh, private institution could be democratic if it wanted to. Well, who's it? Who do you ask? Hey, private institution, do you want to be democratic? Can I just go and ask all the employees, do they all have an equal vote? No, it's done by property rights. So when you say they can have a private institution, uh, that's a bit misleading because there's a lot of people in there that don't have a choice about if they're, whether it's a private or public institution. And one more thing is basically by saying that private uh, 
private institutions, private companies, could be democratic if they want. You're saying that the founders, if the founders, the private holders that own this whole thing, if they want to give away their rights to their workers, that hasn't happened a lot so far, and they have that right right now. Um, um, we just lose all of our democratic rights in the system. You know, you think we have democratic rights is by consuming? In a government or whatever, the same selfish, stupid people are going to be in those governments. Okay, well, I'm finishing up. This is part one. Uh, the thing is, I think, you know, it's as if you think the market gives people just what it wants. No, it, it gives what is most profitable. That is not always what the people want the most. It can be what people want less, but that gives a better profit, okay? Something that people don't like as much, but they're willing to pay a different price that has a different margin, which is more profitable.